People come to Garberville with the sole intention to get wasted. So what am I doing here? I'm not sure anymore. People are shooting off guns. What the heck is this? Is this used for drugs in some way? You hear that? Just shooting off guns. Unclear how far away. They're probably popping shots into the city for all I know. If you can hear it near the city, it's too close. Oh yeah, the confusion tree. That's right. <laughs> this is confusing. <clears throat> I swear I just watched a drug deal happen. It might have been marijuana. I saw a lady with a, a, a bag and there's like a lot of green inside. It was kind of at a distance. Like a truck pulled up and then she got in the truck and then a Corvette with a black man pulled up next to the library. And then she walked, she got out of the truck and into the Corvette. And then the black man talked to her and then he was like, no, nah, no, nah, something like that. Nah, she got out of the Corvette back into the truck for a minute and then left the truck and went back to the Corvette. And then they drove off together. Okay, so being concerned about what happened with the bums, I walked through the street about 8, 730 and there's not quite as many bums out. I don't know where they're sleeping exactly, but I see there are some on the grass, like over there. There's two or three of them in sleeping bags on the grass. I sort of expected more to be like just laying on the sidewalk with all the beer drinking and uh, weed smoking that I saw up and down the street. But it was, yeah. Yeah. That guy, you got him like, you got stragglers that ended up on the sidewalk. But a 54 year old man was invited to go somewhere and he took his big luggage bag with him when I was hanging out at the library, but I'm not sure where. <clears throat> uh, make me laugh. <clears throat> <laughs> Looks like this van has been here a long time. Check this out. And on the other side, it's held up by the tire. Alright, alright, well, uh, thank you, I just... I wonder if I should just oh. put some food over next Yeah, I was, I was wondering if he died or not. He's yeah, been there... All right, so I was talking to this lady and she's saying that it's easier to get uh, marijuana than it is tobacco. <clears throat> this is really quite the start for a hippie uh, lifestyle, okay? This is where the marijuana farms are. I'm sure that extends well into Oregon as well. There are a lot of bums I'm noticing around here. She also said they're give they give away marijuana. Oh, uh, found dog. Thank you.
a lot of these uh, poster board places. Very good choices with this. Very good choices. I really like this. Just the most basic choices you mix together. 615. Cleansing. This is a good choice. Maybe not for the price, but... Alright! I'm a little surprised how much of a drop it was from Garberville to get down to this river area. The Eel River. Just a little curious about bum activity. It's like there's some people parked on the side of the river. There's actually, there's drive marks. Oh, there's a tent, okay. So people are camped. Oh, there's another tent. That looks like it's a part of the rocks. So there are a few bums just living along the river too. Oh, I think I see another tent. Oh yeah, somebody slept in there. Three, four people slept in their cars. There's another tent. There's people sleeping under the bridge. Okay. Oh, there's another tent. <clears throat> oh yeah, all right. So they're sleeping around the river for sure. It's very clear. So it's, it's probably about 10 a.m. and there's like 10 bums within view of this bridge on the river. So, and it's a Monday. Let me just, let me just emphasize it's a Monday. So these bums have nothing better to do. Keep out. Does that go to the river? Because it's ineffective if it goes to the river. People are definitely not listening to that. And yeah, it's not like the river's private property. Although, yeah, it doesn't look like people are getting to the river from this road. Or at least driving down there legally. Llama, wow, is he aggressive. Protecting two goats. He's ready to spit. He's <laughs> I can just see him working up a spit. All right, I think I see where I missed my turn to get down to the river. It's just right here and it curves under the bridge. I can't believe I'm able to bicycle on this. But I mean, that's why cars are could drive on it. You need two hands on the steering wheel. This is insane. I saw some pretty cool ducks, but they wouldn't stick around for me to take their picture. They're no fun. <clears throat> so the campers don't really push this deep in, on the, into the river. Unless if probably it's a special event of some kind. There certainly is a lot of tracks. Are a lot of tracks. A lot of evidence of tracks. Just all up and down this river. I think somebody might be sleeping on the other side of that bush. I'll walk over, but just tracks on top of tracks. 